How not to be afraid of filming yourself, even though you're an introvert. Intro. So how are you doing? So overcoming that fear of jumping in front of the camera is a really hard thing to do. For me it was as well, it still is. I make a lot of mistakes, but the scariest thing is that people are going to watch you and you have no following. So people will think you're a loser or whatever they might think. These are all thoughts that's in your head and on the outside it's not even that bad. So the first thing you gotta check for yourself is why are you scared? Why are you scared? It's not because you're in front of a camera. I mean like this just looks... Wait, give me one second. I mean, does this look scary to you? Does this freak you out? Okay, so you see the point. It's not the fear of being in front of a camera, it's the fear what's in your head of people who are going to watch you. I have the same fear and I conquered it by posting my first video. And do you know, there's actually one reason how I did that and it's really easy. Why do you want to film yourself? Why do you want to film yourself? It's not because you want to be popular. I mean, that's the wrong reason. It's not because you think there's billions to be made in this industry. No, it's probably because this is the one thing that gets you excited. This is what, what's your passion. This is what you want to do. So if you keep that in mind, I mean, who the f cares? Ooh. Who the hell cares what they think because you're doing what you love and that's the end goal of life itself. And also, if there are a lot of people around you who don't support you, who are expecting you to fail, who constantly talk behind your back and keep talking about, oh, he's gonna fuck up or he's, he's made another video again, he's bad. Yeah, of course it's bad because you're just starting. It's the same as anything, it's, it's soccer. The first time you hit a ball, you won't get it into the net or you're extremely lucky as, as some people are, but mostly of the time, ooh, most of the time, it's just you having that experience. And if you have no experience, then get in front of the camera because you gotta learn just the same like me. I have no experience, but I'm doing it. And I suggest you to do the same and don't give a f about them because it's your dream and this is what you want to be doing. So really surround yourself with people who support you, who understand that you're doing what you love, who maybe even do the same as you. Gather those people around you because those give you a lot of energy. I did that because it gets way easier to get behind the camera. All right, so another pro tip I actually stole from Tony Robbins. If you don't know him, Google it now, I'll wait. All right, we're back. This advice is really good and helps me a lot. And it might sound really weird, but before you start recording or start talking about something important, you're letting your prehistoric self shine. And what I mean by that is before a show, what he does, he goes on a trampoline and he jumps for, I think five, 10 minutes, he just does this. So what that does is it gives you energy, it gets you pumped up so that energy will flow inside of your camera and will flow outside of the monitors of the people who are watching you. And it works so well because you feel so much energy. So try it out. I know it's weird, but it's gonna help you because it helped me. So another thing you gotta remember is you're behind a camera. You're not behind actual people. And the pro with this is that if you make errors, if you make fails and then you make them a lot at the start. I said, F damn. I think, ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of fails, but you can cut them in your editing software. So. If you take two hours for a video, it doesn't matter because you can just cut the perfect parts out of it and just show that. And people would think, damn, this guy is good. In 10 minutes, he's doing amazing. But what they don't know is that it takes you two freaking hours. And once you've done it more and more often, you make less errors, you know how to talk behind the camera. Uh, I'm still really learning a lot. I make a lot of mistakes. I think for every 10 minutes I produce, 
I use I think 30 or 40 minutes to record. It's basically the one thing that's gonna help you as someone who fails because if you make mistakes you can cut, you make, can make blah. <laughs> you can make it look good and that's what you want and that's what people want to see and people don't see anything what's in the background. All right, so one last thing is that you gotta remember that filming yourself is in the uprise. We all got amazing cameras, why do you think that is? Uh, we all got uh, iPhones with amazing cameras as well. Why do you know that is? That's because people are vlogging, people are more present on social media and this is growing. Why do you think Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook and Instagram are focusing so hard on video? They got stories. Even if you post on Facebook or Instagram, videos will get into the explore page more often than photos. Why do you think that is? It's because it's the future. And people who don't understand that this is what's gonna be the future, they're not there yet, but they will be there way too late so be freaking grateful how lucky you are that you're one of the people who understands that this is so important to do in the future and you're one of those guys who started early outrun your competition outrun your friends and when you're out there maybe in two or five or even ten years your friends are just starting and you're already there so keep that in mind it's the future start doing it please don't be scared I did it as well, I'm an introvert, so please go for your dreams because that's the most important thing to do. You win life by having fun. Don't wait until retirement to do what you love. We've came to the end of this new rebranded content. Let me know what you guys liked about this. I'm gonna be making a lot more content on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, so be sure to check that out. I'm going all in on the social media thing. I'm going 100% focus on social media. So if you want to learn everything about social media, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, smash that like button because I'll know that I'll make more of these types of videos. So stay tuned for more and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you. So how are you doing?